Raspberry Pi Foundation launches Raspberry Pi 515760 4/20809:53:36. It has been over 4 years since the release of the Raspberry Pi 4, and in that time a lot has changed in the maker board and single board computer landscape. For the Raspberry Pi Foundation there were struggles with worldwide demand and production capacity brought on by the global pandemic starting in 2020 and plenty of new competitors came to the scene to offer ready-to-order alternatives to the venerable Pi 4. Today however the production woes have been assuaged and a new generation of Raspberry Pi is Raspberry Pi.com. Raspberry Pi 5 is being announced in advance of availability unlike every prior Pi device launch. Pre-orders are open with many of the listed approved resellers on Rapiz website starting today but unit shipments aren't expected until near the end of October 2023. As part of this pre-order scheme, Rapiz Foundation is withholding pre-orders from bulk customers and will be dealing in single unit sales for individuals until at least the end of the year, as well as running some promotions with the Magpie and Hackspace magazines to give priority access to their subscribers. Genuinely nice to see, considering how hard it was to obtain a Pi 4 for the average Joe over the last couple years. The two announced prices for the Rapi 5 are $Rust 60 for the 4GB variant, and $Rust 80 for the 8GB variant, or about $Rust 5 more than current reseller pricing on comparable configurations of the Raspberry Pi 4. The Raspberry Pi 5 incorporates entirely new silicon with improvements made to nearly every aspect of the board. Below, Raspberry Pi Foundation provides a list of key features that paint the broad strokes of all the changes made to the Rapi 5, Broadcom BCM 2712 2.4 GHz quad-core 64-bit ARM Cortex-A76 CPU, 512 KB per core L2, 2 MB shared L3, Video Core 7 GPU, supporting OpenGL S 3.1, Vulkan 1.2 Dual 4K P60 HDMI Display Output 4K P60 HEV Decoder LPDDR4 X4267 Stream Dual Band 802.11 Acres Wi-Fi Bluetooth 5.0, Bluetooth Flow Energy, BLE High speed microSD card interface with SDR104 mode support 2 comma USB 3.0 ports, supporting simultaneous 5GBPS operation 2 comma USB 2.0 ports Gigabit Ethernet, with PO Plus support, requires separate PO Plus hat, coming soon, 2 comma 4 lane MIPI camera, display transceivers key 2.0 x1 interface for fast peripherals raspberry pi standard 40 pin po header real-time clock rtc power button with a new board comes a new case the rapi 5 has an updated three-piece plastic case with active cooling which allows for installing the rapi 5 with an sd card installed stacking multiple cases with the top plate removed and allows for mounting hats on top of the case above the fan via PO header extensions and strategically placed holes though the case shell. This new case will cost $US10. While the Rapi Foundation clarifies that no cooling is required for the Rapi 5 to operate, there is a new $US5 active cooler which mounts to the Rapi 5 via the added through hole cooler mounts. This cooler includes a radio blower fan which is claimed to be chosen for low noise operation with the added note that the cooler is somewhat superior, to the case, making it particularly suitable for overclockers. The Raspberry Pi 5 hosts many hardware changes and even some compatibility breaking new interfaces, however, the Rapi Foundation has headed off the possible issues this may cause for users with a slew of new I.O. accessories to address these changes. First, Due to the new high-density mini MIPI connectors Rapi 5 is launching with multiple lengths of adapters to allow the use of existing standard MIPI devices. These adapter ribbon cables come in 200mm, 300mm, and 500mm lengths and cost $1, $2, and $US3 respectively. Alongside these are a new PO Plus hat adapter launching in 2024 that supports the relocated PO header. A rather exciting change comes from the addition of PCI Express 2.0 on the Raspberry Pi 5, and the expansion options for fast peripherals this opens up. To take advantage of this, 
a pair of mechanical hat adapters for M.2 devices and accessories will be launching in 2024. These allow for the use of standard 2230 and 2242 devices such as NVM SSDs, third-party WAN, LAN, and BLE adapters. Presumably M.2 breakout adapters could also work, such as those that split to USB or SATA, but we'll have to wait for the adapters to test. The first of the two adapters, like the prototype pictured below, supports so-called larger devices while the second adapter will follow the L-shaped configuration of the PO Plus hat and allow for M.2 devices to fit within the plastic case accessory. With increased performance sometimes comes, slightly, increased power draw, and Raspberry Pi 5 can pull as much as 50% more power than the Raspberry Pi 4 in demanding tasks. Because of this, and because of enthusiasts that will want to overclock, a new $12.27 US dollars W USB-C power adapter will be made available. RPI Foundation is quick to point out that the RPI 5 does not need this increased power to function, and the 15W power adapter will still work. However, with the 15W power adapter the RPI 5 will limit downstream USB current to 600 mA maximum to ensure that it has ample headroom for very demanding tasks that might have the board pulling its maximum power rating. This USB current limit can still be disabled by the user when using the 15W power adapter, and RPI Foundation says, Raspberry Pi 5 functions perfectly well with typical configurations of higher power USB devices, and all but the most pathological workloads. Finally with the inclusion of a real-time clock in the Raspberry Pi 5, an RTC battery will be made available for a $Rust 5 surcharge. Frankly I feel like this should come with a standard kit, but at least it's available as a first-party accessory. Though wiring up your own with some spare wire, a 2-wire JST plug, 3V coin cell, and some heat shrink isn't out of the question. If reading all that wasn't on your agenda today, you're in luck. Raspberry Pi Foundation's Eben Upton hosted an excellent short video overview of the new Raspberry Pi 5 just for you. Further blog posts talking about the Raspberry Pi 5 will be posted and linked to on the Raspberry Pi 5 main page in the coming weeks.